Hey guys, welcome to Joe Joe Fitness with me, Joe, and to today's workout, which is going to be a full body weights workout. If you do enjoy it, I always ask you to please like, share, subscribe, and then hit that bell to let me know you've been watching. We have got our timer. We're going to do about a minute and a half to two minutes per exercise. So you're going to get really into doing plenty of reps. If you don't have weights, you can make your own, or you can do this with a band if that's something you've got. Of course, you can do everything completely without as well. So it's a very versatile and easy to follow workout. When you're ready, let's go have a great class. So exercise number one is gonna be a pec deck. So I'm just gonna grab my um, weights and just get this going. So just a quick, just a little sort of a limber up and warm up. So just rolling the shoulders. I do feel quite warm this morning. I'm gonna take this jumper off to begin with. I have been running around a little bit. There we go. So just a little rolling position. Whew. Just make sure everything feels nice. And then you can sort of march the feet if you want to do a little bit of extra. And then we're going to bring the weights up and open and close. So you can wander around. I know some people like to kind of walk as they're doing stuff. Or you can do it in position. You can do like a squat if you prefer. That kind of catches my back. But we're doing pec deck. You can do this sitting down, of course. You can do it kneeling. But the idea is elbows in line with shoulders, hands in line with elbows, making this shape. deck. Okay, there's our beats. I'm going to drop one down. I'm going to do an overhead tricep. So it's like you're trying to touch into the back and push up. Okay, and just try and get your elbows forward. So there's a tendency when we do this, you see your elbows to go wide. So roll the elbows in as if you're squeezing your head. Little gentle soft bend of the knees and then push that weight to the sky. So you can do it with both. I did train my uh, arms yesterday at the gym, so, and I'm a bit pathetic in the old arm strength anyway. So you can do it with both, but still looking to get those elbows as far forward as you can. And plus, 90 seconds is quite a long time on such a small muscle group. Again, you can do these sort of split stance, you can do them kneeling, do them sitting. The lower you come to the ground like this, the less it comes into your back. So if you do find things are hitting into the back, take a seat. This will give you real spine strength. So, particularly as we've got 30 exercises to do, excuse me. So, you know, just making sure that your back is always nice and protected. The only problem now is that I'm down here. I can't see what we're doing next. So I'm just gonna come back up. So again, grabbing both weights, we're gonna do a shoulder press. You're gonna do one, two, together. One, two, together. And again, seated, kneeling, standing. So kind of changing sides with the lead arm. I'm kind of going one side and then the other. And, um, oh, I just had something that I was going to say to you and now I can't remember. There we go. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I'm sure it'll come back to me at some point. This does happen with alarming frequency nowadays. Things drop out of my head. Never mind. <sighs> oh, I remember what it was. It was about speed. So slow it right down, and it's a lot more challenging than if you're kind of repping out and really going with your. Um, Bio, sort of biodynamics. So just make sure 
you're not stretching out that elbow, snapping it out in control at all times. Probably your last set. Okay, we're gonna come down wide elbow, um, push, wide arm push. And just take it down and up. So just a wide arm push. So go wider than your mat if you've got a mat. If you've not got a mat, wider than your shoulders. And you can do this on knees or on toes, depending on how strong you are. And again, speed, not snapping through those arms, but if you're really strong and you can kind of rep this out, keep it smooth and going, then go for it. If you're a little bit weaker, if you're like me, not got loads of strength in the upper body, taking those little pauses as you need to. Lovely. It's just making it work for you. So you can, as I say, you can do these exercises with a band um, as well as with weights and you can do them without. So what I'll try and do is I'll try and set you up, band set up, if you've only got a band for each one as well. Okay, last couple of these. Lovely. We've got lat raises now, so we're working into those shoulders. So you can, again, you don't have to come all the way up. So lateral raise, if you've got the band, it's under your feet, band in each hand. Right, left, together. And then left, right, together. So it's the same sort of combination. This pops up time and again, just to make it easy for me to remember what we're doing. One lat raise, one lat raise, double lat raise. Good. It's kind of like a micro pause for the arm that's not working. Again, you can do this and you can kind of take yourself off. I always find that if I wander, it helps me forget the pain of what I'm doing. So you can do that. You can just go up and down your mat if you don't have a lot of space. Sometimes it's just nice to get, oh, this is my double get off the spot because when you are on the spot what can tend to happen is you end up tend to sort of arch back and again that back gets involved so if you are wandering around you have to release the back you can't really be swaying and get in bad form so it helps you to let that go okay elbows into the waist we're going to work on rotator cuff which is uh, muscles underneath the shoulder blades so we'll just do the same one two and then together elbows stay in and it's like you're squeezing the shoulder blades together okay this is our rotator cuff it's one of the movements we use for rotator cuff but recently i've had quite a few people coming to me with rotator cuff injuries so it's important that we still remember to train these so again, just doing the one, two together. And don't stick your chest out. So as you come through, we're not arching the back and sticking the chest out. Pull that navel in towards the spine. Give that pelvic floor a bit of a squeeze. As if you're pulling the rib cage down towards the, the pelvis. You're holding those abs on. You're working here. Get one, two, and together. Lovely, last one. Great. Taking one weight, take it above the head, soften the knees. Imagine you're kind of sat on a horse, riding a horse, and you're just gonna laterally flex side to side, working your side waist. Just again, trying to make sure you're not sticking your chest out, not arching back, 
pulling, imagine there's a bit of elastic tied onto the sternum here and onto the pubis and it's pulling. So every time you lean back, you're gonna be stretching that. You want the elastic to be nice and safe. So again, if you're doing um, a band, you can put the band under one foot and pull it up. Or if you've got a long enough band, you can put it under both feet and pull it up. You can do it without the band. You can do it without the weight. <laughs> Just a little bit of waist work. And we're trying not to throw the hip as we come over. So keep everything below the waist still and you're just laterally flexing the upper body. No right and left today. So every 90 seconds is complete. Got some nice shoulder burn going on here, holding that weight. Oh, let that go. We have got frontal raise. Now, if you have got a bit of shoulder burn, just grab one weight and just do a frontal raise with one weight. Again, if you've got the band under both feet, pulling up in front. If your shoulders are feeling okay, you're doing your one, two together. One, two, and together and then changing sides. So, it's a bit of personal choice here. You know how you're feeling. I did, as I say, trained shoulders and back yesterday. So, upper body. So, this is kind of hitting into those areas. <sighs> so, I think I'm making up excuses as to why I'm being pathetic and not being able to lift so much. <laughs> But of course, when you do train shoulders and back, biceps and triceps come along because they have to. So, they are feeling a little bit challenged. I'm just trying to concentrate on them when I go into the gym um, because I just feel like my arms are losing strength. I'm not as strong as I used to be 20 years ago. And, uh, I don't like it, it bothers me. So I'm trying to concentrate. Still all these years I've done lots of things with the legs. Good, it's perfectly timed. Okay, we're gonna do um, arms, I'm gonna put the weights down, arms shoulder height, you're gonna reach over and in, and reach over and in. So arms to shoulder heights. If you can keep hold of those weights, and do this tip, then that's lovely. If obviously you're using a band, it's under the feet, ends of the band each in each hand, and you're gonna stretch it. But working into that waist again, lengthening through, using the arms. going I'm just gonna try and read I think we're I've missed something out no nope, we're not we're fine <laughs> last couple <laughs> lovely we're just gonna do a little twist and again you can excuse me losing my trousers you can have the weights in your hand kind of in that rotator cuff type um, hold, so the elbows bent, the hands in front of the belly, twisting, just be careful that you're not rolling on the knees, um, I'm rolling here with a heel release and that is actually fine because we're not straining into, but if you keep the heels down and you're rolling into the knees you'll get some strain, so just try and turn the shoulders but keep the hips solid and forwards. Just a little twist. So 
again, if you're using a band, bands under the feet, ends of the bands are in the hands, exactly the same. Ooh. <laughs> Keeping the weight back in my heels so that I'm not pressing forwards is just a little bit too much there. Okie dokes. did say that we've got no right and left so I was wrong with that we are but they're coming up in a bit superb so we're going to do one now you're just going to stand on one foot so if you're using the band under that foot and you're going to just lift the arms up and down sort of flapping but using the standing on one leg because this is going to give you a lot of instability that means you're going to be working a lot of isolator and assister muscles you're going to do 45 seconds each side 20 seconds to go. So you're just kind of flapping your arms. And then we're going to change side, keep the flapping going. seconds remaining. It's quite hard standing on one leg for that long. 10 seconds remaining. Single figures now. 
This is actually easy with the band because you're pulling against it. Let that go. We've got a single, single double bicep. So elbow again into the waist, curling the arm up in front. Single, single, double band, of course, under your feet, ends in the hands. Superb. Nearly done. You've got bridge after this one. So you're going to come down onto your back and you'll be lifting up and down in your bridge. Great work. So uh, no real weights or bands for bridge. You can if you want to pop the weight on your hips if you like to do that as you lift up and down or you can just leave them out lifting and lowering To our tummy, uh, well, onto all fours really, and you're going to do opposite. Um, just take one leg out behind and pulse it up and down, so extending out, squeezing the bottom, little pulses. Great work, change legs, so the other leg out behind. few seconds lovely drop onto your front and let's do alternate leg lift so just lifting keep the body down keep the head down changing side lifting squeezing
30 seconds to go, keep with it. So with the band, you could tie the band around your ankles and push your resistance against the band. If you've got ankle weights or strap-on weights, those ones, you know, we used to get with the Velcro or the elastic bands, you can tie those around your ankles if you want resistance here. Otherwise, you're just working against gravity, pushing and pulling. Lovely, you can just take a quick back stretch there if you want to. We're gonna turn over. We're gonna bring the legs up. Ooh, sitting on a... So bring the legs up. You can curl up through your spine. You're just gonna drop alternate legs to the ground. So you can do extended legs like this, or you can do sort of Pilates tabletop legs. If having that body up is too much, you drop the body down. If having both legs up is too much, then you're gonna to need to do one leg at a time. So just whatever works for you. Okay, hook the knees in, just rock the back out. You're going to come up and do tricep dips. So whenever you're ready, just begin. So if you can't do tricep dips, if you can't put your weight, you can go back to your overheads that we already did. You can do tricep kickbacks. If you're using a band, obviously band around the knees and you can kick back against it. Um, so lots of ways to work the triceps if you can't, for whatever reason, do your dips. And the dips can be done making sure the elbow is bent. You can do the bottom off the floor, but make sure that your elbows are bending. What I tend to see when people lift their bum off the floor is they do this with their bottom, but notice how my elbows aren't actually bending. So bum down, really bend into those arms, fingers facing towards your bottom. So don't turn your hands out here trying to bend. Sorry if that deafened you. Last kind of 15 seconds here. Keep that bum as high as you can. Just release that, let it go. Gonna come back over onto all fours, please. You're gonna do heel to the sky pulsing here. So bend the leg, 
roll it in so your knee is in line with your hip and then push up so don't kind of drop the knee down and just you can do this range but the idea is it's in the higher range so this is the starting and ending point rather than this being the starting and ending point so up keep it up push if this does hurt your back then drop the knee lower Okay, let's change sides, please. Pushing through leg two. Working into that bottom. Last few seconds, well done. Take a quick stretch, release off the back. We're gonna turn over once more, grab your weights. We're gonna do a chest press. So weights in hands, if you're using a band around the back of your body and you just push the ends of the bands up just the way we're pushing the weights up. Try and keep the weights in line with the chest, that's the muscles we're working, rather than having them maybe over the face and pushing them over the back of the head. So. Push them, hold them kind of by the rib cage and push them straight up and down. If you were happen to drop one, you don't want it hitting your face. You want it over the muscle you're working. Nice work, well done. Just taking one weight, we'll just do a pullover and a curl up. So same position. So again, if you're working a band, I put the band around the back of your knees here, pull it over and pull it up, okay? So um, band slightly different. Try and get your arms as long as possible, touching the weight down behind and then push up the weight and curl up the spine. So you're looking between the knees. lovely come on over we're going to do dog at a tree so hands and knees again if you can you can do these standing if you can't do them on hands and knees for any reason so leg is bent and you're just bringing that leg out to the side imagine you're a dog taking a wee Great for working into the hips, this, working those bum muscles. 
you can't do this one for whatever reason, if your hands, your arms, your elbows, shoulders are hurting, then come onto your side and do clam. Last one here, change sides. So with a band, you'd have the band tied around your knees and you'd be pushing against the resistance of the band. So you're working a little harder than I am here with nothing. So nice, easy one, I guess. Okay, flip it over. Those legs back up. Let's just move the weights out of my way. Legs back up. This time you're going to drop both legs away until you feel kind of in a V and then bring them up. Again, the body can be relaxed down so you don't have to have the curl up if you don't want it. If again, if it's too much with both legs in the air, one leg down and up. So we're not sort of touching it to the floor like we did before. We're taking it away, looking for that pull in the lower part of the abs. And then you can stop and bring it back. Stop and bring it back. And again, you can do this with bent legs. You do feel it on your back, keep your spine down and put those hands under your bottom. Okay, let's just come over. Last one. We're going to take the leg out and curl it in and out. So it's a straight leg in line with the hip, curling out. So if you've got a band, you can tie the band around your ankle, have the band in the hand and pull and push against the resistance of the band. Otherwise, you're just working against gravity, curl and release. Fifteen seconds on this side, and then we all will turn it over. Ten to go. Just try and keep that foot out at hip height, so don't let the leg sort of drop down unless you absolutely have to change sides. I'm just gonna turn around so you've got working leg towards you. So you're just curling and releasing. Really think about squeezing the hamstrings, releasing off through the quads. Last couple of seconds here. One more maybe, yeah. Come on up. I want you to grab hold of those weights. Take your arms so that they're here and just push little squeezes. So if you've got the band, you've got the band under. So you're making a really good push here. Um, right angle and just a little squeeze release. So band under feet. You're using band, you're using weights. Ooh. Don't let those elbows drop down. You've got to keep them here. Lock them on. In line with shoulders, just push. So it's just the top half. Shoulders are talking to me. And again, if you're starting to lean back, you can do these, come down, so you can't reach back through the back. 
Oh, it's a tough one to finish. So my arms aren't particularly strong. Last 10 seconds. Oh, just let that go. Just taking those shoulder rolls, keep the weights in hands. Just rolling the shoulders back. A little bit of a shrug, loosening off the neck. Feels good. Oh. Keep rolling back. And then changing directions, roll forwards. Working the traps, muscles that keep the head on. Just be careful of bending the arms too much and circling through the arms. It really is the shoulders lifting up straight arms. So you're really working into that head and neck. into our cool down, warm down, stretchy type phase now. So we're just going to do one more section of movement, but absolutely no weights. And this one, we're just going to do a gentle wrap around. So pop the weights down, set the legs out nice and wide and just wrapping. It's one of my favourites. just feel like it just really gets into the back, releases it off. Let the arms swing, give them a little bit of release. Head is going as well. And we will start to stretch out as well. Okay, so just reaching up and over, lengthen through. And change sides. And release. Bring your elbows onto your knees and just round up the back. Or put your hands on and round up the back. Stretching out that lower back. And then drive the chest forwards and push it out. Push the bum away. Squeeze and release here. Lovely, fold over the legs, bring the hands towards the floor, just take a little pedal through the legs, just side to side. Lovely, you will get a set of beats, just ignore them. This is just coming up to our 45th minute sort of thing. Hold here now and push. Lovely, hold, 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 hold. And then you can soften the knees and rise up. We'll take one foot in the hand, hold on if you need to. Quad stretch. And then kick that forwards and take a hamstring stretch. We just did the hands folding forwards, but we just do them again. And then roll into that foot and take this foot away, taking a bit of a calf stretch. Just bring one shoulder across. And then let's do that on the other side. So. Quads to begin with, standing quad stretch. Hold on if you need to. Kick through for a little bit of a hamstring. Ooh. Roll into it for the calf and take the shoulder stretch. That's where we did do all those shoulder exercises. And then let that go. Quick tricep, bicep and we're out of here. Change tries to the other side. Lovely, and then you can take both hands, if you've got a countertop or a wall, you can take them and stretch out your biceps together. You can take a nice stretch. If not, you can do them one at a time. One hand, the other hand. Let's take a breath in. Reach up and out. Good, breath in. And out. Lovely, last time, come through the middle. And we are done. Give yourselves a round of applause. Well done. Thank you so much. Enjoy your day.